my gosh. Uh, well, that was unexpected. Cool, our first five star and our four star only account. Well, where's the four star? No, where's my, my star glitter? My Bennett? It's all slipped away from me now. Uh, well, Bennett's now on the banner. Crisis averted. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode of four star only. Well, somebody has decided to join us who is not a four star. Oh, wonder. I am upset because... He took 180 pulls to come on my main account where I actually really wanted him, but he took 50 pulls to come on my four star only account. Oh, I wish he is such a good character, but unfortunately he is irrelevant in this case. I don't know if I even want to level him up. I know I leveled up my traveler to get a free fate, so I might level him up, but I kind of think it's funny if I just leave him at level one. What do you guys think? Should I level up for fate or should I just let him vibe at level one? Anyway, this is a very interesting banner. In fact, this is an extremely mid banner. The reason is, is because I kind of want all three of these boys. Tober is an amazing for star shielder. Bennett is, well, uh, Bennett. And Sephos, I'm not really sure about Sephos's kit. I think he's either a DPS or a sub DPS, but we could, we could check out Sephos. Sephos could use aim shots, a charge level two, deals damage, elemental burst. Yeah, so I think he might be a DPS. Ooh. And then you could use that. Oh, wow. He's a little bit of a royal bow DPS. What a cool character. It seems very fun to use. I think I'm using it right. I need to sort of give up as like a, a guide to Sephos. But I kind of definitely want this guy. Why is he so dramatic <laughs> when, he, when he gets hit? Yeah, so overall, I really like Sephos's playstyle. We should definitely do all these ones as well. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is a bit awkward. It wants me to use all here. Him to do these uh slimes but uh official is immune to electro so this is what we're doing right now this is what it's come to again i know technically i could just use just use our haven because it's not anything to do with my actual account but i don't know i think it's just funny okay we've done all the trials now what i want to do is i kind of want to wish how many wishes do i have six and none of these I don't think I'm guaranteed. Oh, no, I am guaranteed a four star because I would be on 10 pity. Okay, well, let's do let's do one and see who we get. Oh, I kind of hope it's Bennett, but I'm happy with anyone. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. This one I'm gonna be guaranteed. Okay, let's see who we get. Come on. Toma! Toma! I think he's the one I wanted the least because I've just leveled up Layla. I don't really know what I would use Toma for, but Toma is definitely a good addition to the account because we're probably gonna need Toma in the future, so it's good to have. See if we get any more. I don't think we will. Three. Uh, then I can get another one from the banner. And then I can wish with this fate. Meh. It's just Toma, but we'll get Bennett eventually. I really want Bennett, but Toma is still really good for us. I don't really know where I'd use him because I've already got Layla on this milk team, but I'm sure that we're going to need Toma in the future. So I won't build him right now, but he's definitely wanted. Anyway, off screen, I got everybody of these to level 60. I also... I'm now world level 4, I did the ascension quest, and I'm adventure rank 36. I'm having an issue though, so our next main goal is to get another team up to 60. So we need to get a few weapons up because our weapons are still slightly low. Kaiser's on level 70 for some reason because I had the funds for- I had the materials for it, so I just leveled his up to 70. Garming's on 60, Zincho and Layla need their swords leveled up. And there's this one, it's going to be replaced by Barbara. I want to replace Barbara with that one. But also if we get Sephos, I'm thinking of making Sephos a main DPS because I am very excited for Sephos. But I really don't have a lot of resources. So I have enough to get these guys. I have enough of their materials. However, the problem I'm having is the fact that I only have a few XP materials. So I need to do, that's why I leveled up my wood level to basically just farm a lot of ley lines because that's the only thing that's stopping me is to get a lot of these experiences. And I know I should probably do my battle pass as well. 
I should start doing my battle pass. It's gonna make me cry, but it's okay, because we'll do do our battle pass. But yeah, so let's see essentially what we need to do. We need to do one more round of the ocean and get Barbara's everything Barbara needs. When is the next loud level? At 40. And it's going to, oh, it's going to automatically go up to world level 5. So that means I'm going to have to work against the clock because on the 40 it's going to go up and I need to have my characters level 70 by that point. That's our goal and our agenda. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep getting Prima Gems so we can get Bennett and Sephos. I really want Sephos. Because then I can possibly replace Lisa with Sephos. Then have Pele's Incho and Yao Yao. So yes, that is my predicament. Now I shall do lots of different ley lines to try and get everybody up. Oh, I can do Zincho's Alley Flash domain. He's an Alley Flash at the moment. I don't have his good sword, so I just put him in Alley Flash. And then I'll put that on Bennett. And then we got Gami's talent to level 4 as well. We don't have a lot, but we're getting people's talents up a little bit. So that is everything. Yeah, and then I need to go find this domain. I don't even know where this is. I don't know why this is. I'm gonna have to go find it. But it feels really good even without the talents. But obviously we're gonna have the level of talents to get everybody ready for ascension. Woohoo! That was difficult. The world level going up is kind of be quite detrimental to my account. Right, I'm gonna focus on getting Barbara up before I do anything. Play Sing Show. Oh, I also have a guaranteed four star with the pools. I have four pools and I'm seven into pity, so we should definitely do that. Yes, I was right. I was right. Ooh! Oh, a Fafonia sword! That's really good. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I should put that on Zing Cho. I know Sax is better, but at least we could put some ER on Zing Cho, and then once we get Bennett, we'll put the Alley Flash on Bennett. But I'll keep him on this one for now. But yeah, definitely I'm going to have a Fab Sword. That's actually really good. Especially when we start getting crit as well. But we're going to sort of go with Barbara. And for Barbara, obviously we need a good weapon. And I want to get the prototype Amber for her because obviously that will increase her healing. I'm not sure if I have any billets, spillets. I might actually need to start doing weeklies to get them. I don't know if you get, get one for free or not. I don't think you do. But I definitely need at least one copy of the prototype Amber. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> I neglected some mystic enhancement ore. No. Oh, I do have a billet. I didn't realize I did. I don't know why I have so many, but prototype Ember, here we come. There you go. Prototype Ember for Barbara. We can just have one at the moment and then... Oh, I don't even have enough. Oh, what? I didn't mean to do the white iron for it. I don't know why I did that considering that I've been doing that for years, but you know what? Maybe I'm just really tired today. I think that might be it. Anyway, Barbara needs her weapon. Her prototype Ember. Oops, I don't want to get rid. I don't want to get rid of the frilling tails stuff. Actually, I don't know how to put frilling tails on her instead of Ember. I forgot frilling tails existed, but I'm thinking potentially frilling tails might be good because it will increase Gaming or whoever's on the field's attack. I'm actually thinking of putting tails on her. Yes, I know I just wasted. Well, not really, considering I wouldn't have used it on Mapamari anyway. So because I have Sack, so I don't need Mapamari. But I guess it's good to have as an option. But I'm actually thinking refining this to R5. If you don't know, Frilling Tails is a really good weapon. Like a really good weapon. Especially how you just get it from Gacha. But it can be, it is actually one of the best weapons for Barbara because it will give a massive attack boost. And I want to keep the magic guide as well because that can be really good. And then any sort of, because I can put that on. Sharpshooters, oh, if I can put that on. Fitting with Jiggy, Sephos. So, a lot of the freestyle weapons are actually really good. Yeah, we have nothing. But I want to get her up to 60. Ooh, the amount of farming, I don't remember it being this hard, but I guess I'm farming way more characters than I did when I first started playing Genshin. I was only focusing on one team. I could also do some side quests as well. They might give me stuff. Ooh, now we're getting purples. Oh, I'm so excited. This is why I leveled up my ward level because I was not getting a lot of anything really. We're wrenching ever closer to a ridiculously hard enemies. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, how useful. Ooh, did I get nine heroes with? Why am I here? Just to suffer. Oh, 
Hello everyone, sorry to interrupt your video, but I just want to say if you love these videos, please like and subscribe. I know it's kind of kind of cheesy, but I am a small YouTuber and liking the video makes me know I'm doing something right. Thank you each and every one of you for your support and let's get back into the video. There's a new offense going on. Mutual security enhancing simulation. This looks crazy. Oh, there's so much stuff I could do. Ooh. We can get some gems. Oh, look, if we if we do it correctly, we can get this hero's wit. There is a defense scenario. And that's about the same. Oh, I know. Is that fair to Mechanica? What is this? Oh, I've never been good at defense. Oh, why, why am I a slime? Oh, dear. I don't understand. There's another beacon. Oh, can put the chichin mages here? Can I move these guys or am I stuck with them? Or can I, I can do this apparently? Also, yeah, I'm not counting this as not four star only because it's literally just a, an E skill on a game. I don't even know what I'm doing. Can I move these or am I just stuck? Where's the support beacon? What happened to my other one? Oh no, I accidentally haven't defended. Where did my bugs go? I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> my, my, my bugs have gone. Wait, can I do this? I don't want to use my E. Oh no, this is bad. Because <laughs> this is not actually the power of the five stars. This is actually just the uh, power on the... Oh, my my flies are back. My my flies are now back. Yes, the whirlwind isn't actually the power of the five stars. It's like the power of a... Oh really? I thought that guy was like my thing. Oh well, at least I got three stars. Apparently I could just do three of them at once. Okay, center and right Lane. Let's start again. Oh no. What are these things? Wait, what? I thought there was a dude. Why is my guy a specter? Oh, I can do that. I don't even know what's going on. How is this even... Isn't this meant to like do combat? Why is it just... You know what? Two stars is better than I ever hoped. What do I even get with two stars? Uh, yeah, I'll go back to that maybe. Also, for those saying, did you read the instructions? No. I read too much of my daily life. I become stupid when I play gacha games. Because it's my escape. Ooh, we should do our weekly question. I like doing weekly questions while we're suffering in this domain. Was Genshin Impact your introduction to the gacha genre? What I'm saying is, was Genshin Impact your first gacha game? Because it actually was my first gacha game. And so I'm not really like a veteran player or anything. But I know Genshin's quite an accessible gacha compared to a lot of the other ones and also it's a very new type of gacha too. It's a sort of invented open world gacha but I now play free live service gachas. I play Genshin obviously. I play Star Rail Hoya versus other open world gacha game and I'm now playing Wuthering Waves. Yeah I'd say there's problems with the gacha model but I think Genshin's quite generous and also it's not just a gacha game. It's also got other things to do like challenges and stuff so it's pretty good for a free game. Anyway, that's all the stuff from the defense version. I'll go back to this guy later. And then there's an assault one. I think no, we can't do that one until later. Oh, I have to like attack. Maybe I just keep flinging bait flinging stuff onto it, seeing if it works, and then try and beat them as much as possible. Oh, did I win? Okay, cool. There we go. Easy. Ooh, I didn't realize it would take... We got a new bow. Cloud Forged. After elemental energies decrease, the equipping character's elemental stress you increase by 40 for 18 seconds. I don't know how good that is, but it's good to have an EM bow. That's, that's pretty good. And then we can get refinements when we get the... It's some refinements and have an R5 weapon, which would be useful. Oh, we also got this surprise. Apparently something's wrong with Nervalette's charged attack, which is not something we have to worry about but thank you for the privilege gems anyway. We can also get another cheeky thing. Ooh, I think we have enough to get another four star. All right, let's wish for better. Wish that we wish better, okay? Ooh, early four star. Blom Bennett. What? Chang Yoon again? 
<laughs> Why? Why is my account being inundated with Chang Yun? I can't escape him. I can't escape him. Wow, I got some star glitter. Thanks, Chang Yun. Thanks, Chang Yun. You're not even on the banner. Not even on the banner. Why am I so unlucky? Now I just need to send her to. Well, I need to go fight the ocean it again. Ah, I'm forever fighting the ocean it on this account. Thank you everyone for the really kind messages on Genshin. I usually don't reply to them just because I am usually recording whenever I'm on this account or I'm just coming on briefly to do dailies or something. Another thing I do want to just mention is that I am accepting friend requests from the first 60 people who want to add my account. My UID is public. Yeah, you can add me. First come, first serve. However, I do expect you guys to just respect me, respect my boundaries, you know, say nice things and not mean things, or... I usually won't take co-op requests, and if I do want to take co-op requests, I will say. I will say and I will organize it formally, rather than just adding anybody to my world. Yeah, I put it on auto, auto reject. Wow, we we're probably down on our luck this video, unfortunately. Hopefully by the next video, I'll have everybody to level 60 and then we can start challenging the Spiral Abyss Floor 5, which I'm really excited about. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate each and every one of you and bye for now.